Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today's review is going to be on the new Safari LTD Estaminosuchus. It's been a while since Safari released a non-dinosaur, the last time they made one was back in 2020 with the Shringosaurus, Sarcosuchus, and Ichthyosaurus. This Estaminosuchus is a very welcome addition because not only is this a new species for Safari, but it's also their only Therapsid that's still in production. They retired their Innostrancevia, and that one is hard to come by now unfortunately. Collected also released an Estaminosuchus, but I never got that one since it was too pricey, too large, and Therapsids aren't really my biggest priority when it comes to collecting prehistoric creatures. But I was quick to purchase Safari's version because it was cheaper and smaller, so it was going to take up a lot less shelf space. So without further ado, let's dive in and see if this new Estaminosuchus is worth your money. First, let's do some quick measurements. From head to tail, the figure is about 4 and a quarter inches long. As for height, it's about 2 inches tall at the top of its head. So Estaminosuchus was estimated to be around 10 feet in length, so with those measurements, this model would be in the 128 scale range. Starting off with that frightening head sculpt, you can see all of the unique ornamentation on the skull. It's amazing that a bizarre looking animal like this actually existed. Then down to the mouth, there are 4 large canines visible, and if you look inside, there are some more teeth. And then moving down the model, there's the visible ear holes and the visible shoulder blades as well. The animal's physique is very robust. You can see it in the torso and on the legs as well. They are very muscular. Now, there isn't a whole lot going on with the detailing. It's mainly smooth, but Estaminosuchus was not a reptile. It was actually a very early relative of mammals. So the smooth skin absolutely works. Then there's five digits on the hand and the feet as well. The tail is very short, going down to the underbelly, the detailing is pretty much the same as the detailing on the top, and of course, you got the cloaca. The Therapsid's pose is quite nice. You can clearly see it's in a mid-stride walking pose. This contrasts nicely with the Collecte Estaminosuchus, which is in a standing position. I really enjoy the color scheme, it's simple but still very appealing. The color on the top, from the head down to the tail, seems to be a grayish brown, the eyes also share that same color. And on the underside, it's just orange. In my opinion, these warmer colors fits this animal perfectly. Starting off with our comparisons, let's bring in Safari's only other therapsid, the now retired Innostrancevia, which is slightly larger than the Estaminosuchus. And you can see, they are pretty much in the exact same walking pose. Here's the outdated but still very well done Postasuchus. And here is the beautiful Prestosuchus. And here is the Safari Caprosuchus. And the Safari Sarcosuchus. Now let's bring in some other non-dinosaurs from Safari. So here we have the Dimetrodon, which is a synapsid. Here is the small and very obscure Safari LTD Scutosaurus. And here is the Shringosaurus, which has unfortunately now been retired. If you don't have it, I recommend that you pick it up as soon as you can. Here's another Therapsid figure, the Schleich Dinogorgon. Here is the Collecte Adaphosaurus. And the Collecte Smock. Here are the other two Safari Prehistoric World models that have been released, the Utahraptor and the Majungasaurus. We have two more new sculpts coming out, which is a Stegoros and a Therizinosaurus. The Therizinosaurus could be my new favorite of the Safari 2023 dinosaurs, but for now, it's still the Utah Raptor. I'm also going to get the Kentrosaurus repaint because I never got around to picking up the original model. Last but not least, here's the Estaminosuchus next to the Collecte Zyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Zyphactinus. Well, there you have it everyone, that was my review on the Safari LTD Estaminosuchus. Overall, this is a lovely little figure that will be a great addition to anyone's prehistoric animal collection. The smooth detailing and small size can be excused since Estaminosuchus was only a mid-sized mammal relative. I would say the figure deserves an 8 out of 10. If you want one for yourself, you can get it off of Safari's website. I'll leave a link down below in the description. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, it really supports my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.